Mart was my best friend. Mart was my best friend. I thought he was great. But one day he tried to do for me. I had a hat, a woolly one, and I loved that hat. It was warm and tight. My mum had knitted it and I wore it everywhere. One day me and Mart, we were out and we were standing at a bus stop and suddenly he goes and grabs my hat and chucked it over the wall. He thought I was gonna go in there and get it out. He thought he'd make me do that because he knew I liked that hat so much I wouldn't be able to stand being without it. He was right. I could hardly bear it. I was really scared I'd never get it back, but I never let on. I never showed it on my face. I just waited. Aren't you gonna get your hat? He says. Your hat's gone, he says. Your hat's over the wall. I looked the other way. But I could still feel on my head how he had pulled it off. Your hat's over the wall, he says. I didn't say a thing. Then the bus came round the corner at the end of the road. If I go home without my hat, I'm going to walk through the door and Mum's going to say, where's your hat? And if I say, it's over a wall, she's going to say, well, what's it doing there? And I'm going to say, Mark chucked it over. And she's going to say, well, why didn't you go for it? And what am I going to say then? What am I going to say then? The bus was coming up. Aren't you going over for your hat? There won't be another bus for ages, Mark says. The bus stopped. I got on. Mark got on. The bus moved off. You've lost your hat, Mark says. You've lost your hat, Mark says. Two stops ahead was our stop. Are you going indoors without it, Mark says. I didn't say a thing. The bus stopped. Mart got up and dashed downstairs. He had got off one stop early. I got off when we got to our stop. I went home, walked through the door. Where's your hat, Mum says. Over a wall, I said. Oh, what's it doing there, she says. Mart chucked it over there, I said. But you haven't left it there, have you, she says. Yeah, I said. Well, don't you ever come asking me to make you anything like that again. You make me tired, you do, she says. Later, I was drinking some orange juice. The front doorbell rang. It was Mart. He had the hat in his hand. He handed it to me and went. I shut the front door, put on the hat, walked into the kitchen. Mum looked up. You don't need to wear your hat indoors, do you? She said. I will for a bit, I said. And I did. <laughs>